With this setup, we are very close to replace the MacBook now. This is an iPad Pro 2018 12.9 inch running the new iPad OS in Beta 2. This is the bridge keyboard and here we have a mouse. And everything works together very well. And if it can keep up with the MacBook, we will find out now. Hi everyone and welcome to the Paperless Movement YouTube channel. I'm Tom Solid and I research the best hardware and software solutions you need to digitize your life and to become more productive at work and in your home office so you will have time for the things that really matter to you. And today we talk about hardware again and what we have here is a combination of the iPad Pro 2018 with the bridge. And yeah, you might have seen this already. I have the space gray iPad but I have the silver bridge so i actually ordered the wrong color however the functionality will be the same so i can replace the color later on so you might have seen already some reviews about the bridge now and um yes there's another thing you can just put on the back it's magnetic and it will hold like this so you have an additional cover there where you have the bridge sign but in my opinion i prefer to have it like this well obviously Maybe they did this because the apple is not in the right position. It doesn't look very good. So that's the reason why they put this cover on there. Then once closed, it's really like a little MacBook. So in this setup, it is smaller than the old MacBook Air. And it is about the size like the new MacBook Air. But what about weight? That's the thing many people complain about, having all these uh, cases and so on, in addition to the iPad Pro. And I completely understand because it takes away the mobility. Let's check the weight difference here. So with the bridge on, we have 1,522 grams. If we take away this cover here, it is even 200 grams left. So only this cover alone on the back weighs around 200 grams so it's 180 grams so if you want to save some weight just take this thing away maybe if you don't like to have the apple logo like this maybe you want to make a apple sticker or something else on the back so without the cover on we have 1340 grams and if you compare this to the logitech slim folio i made a review about as well and there in there we have already another iPad, which is the same one, but broken. So um, I will just see and we have the same weight if you just leave away the back cover. Okay, and if you compare this to the MacBook Air one, it is also 1330 grams. So the old MacBook Air weighs the same as the iPad Pro with the Logitech on or with the bridge without the cover on the back. But if you compare it to the new MacBook Air, we have about 100 grams less. So the new MacBook Air is even lighter than carrying around the iPad Pro with either the Logitech Slim Folio or with the bridge on it. Then another question is, can I open it with one hand? No, it's not possible because if you try to open it with one hand, it will just go. So you will need another hand to open it. And then you just simply put your Apple Pencil 2 on top of it. So that's as you would do with the Apple keyboard as well. So you see it doesn't stay close, very firm, like you would expect, for example, from, an, um, from a MacBook. So you see it just flaps around, but I think that's no problem either. I thought in the first place, why do I need a bridge? Because I made plenty of videos about other keyboard cases already. But I must say, if you're really aiming for replacing your MacBook for whatever reason, then this makes it much more complete. So it is here placed in this notches. It is more or less easy to take it out and just turn around and put it in there. So you will have it like this. So you can just put it on your lap and watch a movie or whatever you want to do. I what would have laughed, it would be much more stable. Um, as you know, with the new Apple Pencil 2, you just tap on it and the new Notes app will open. And as soon as you just start to draw here, you see the new dark mode. So you see it's possible. As soon as you put down your palm, the further you go down, it will just fall flat eventually. However, you can draw on this like this as well. So you will have a notepad. The other thing is, just take it out, turn it around again. 
So you know this may be from the surface where you can just undock and dock. However, this keyboard is not charging while connected to the iPad Pro. So you will have to connect it again via the USB 3 cable. So it's the normal charging cable you have for your iPad Pro 2018 and you would put this into your charger. However, if you put it into your bridge, on the other hand, it will just start loading. You see this on the sign here. So it is charging now. That's all you need to do. So, so whenever the keyboard will just run empty of battery, you always be able to charge it with the equipment you already have with you. So with the new OS, we are getting much closer to a real MacBook replacement now. And therefore I bought a very basic mouse here. It's a Bluetooth mouse that you can connect via Bluetooth. However, you are also able to connect any wired mouse to the iPad Pro as well to control it. So all you need to connect a normal USB mouse is a USB adapter from normal USB to USB-C, which is either just a simple cable or if you watch the video about my accessories, you have this adapter where you have also the HDMI and so on and there's USB as well, it will work the same. So I will now just set up the iPad Pro together with the bridge like I would use it as a laptop. So in order for you to see this, I will record my screen now. So what you have here is the access accessibility button, just press on here and there you have the touch button and then you can just start the assistive touch. I made a video about the assistive touch already where I showed you how good I think this thing on the side is where you can just tap and open and then you have a whole new set of controls where you can control, undo and so on. So I really like this already and now with the mouse we can just go here to pointing devices, Bluetooth devices, and here's the speed link already. So for this one, that's a really cheap one. I will put the link in the description where you can get the bridge and where to get the mouse and so on. Um, but that's the thing I found out now. So now I have to enter the pin of the mouse and there we go already. It is now connected. And you see already how good the movement here is. So now I can just use the mouse and that's the difference to a normal mouse you are used to on a MacBook or a Windows PC that you have to imagine that the mouse is a replacement of your finger hovering over the iPad and as soon you press the left mouse button you just tap with your finger so that's what you need to keep in mind and with the right mouse button you will just open the assistive touch panel where you have additional controls. So this means I also can simulate to scroll down from the top right and you will get a control menu or from the top to get a notification center or to scroll around. It is just with the left mouse button. Why? Because I'm simulating pressing the screen and scroll around as I'm used to it. So if you get the hang of this, that's fine. As soon as you connect the mouse to your iPad Pro, you might think, oh, that's too fast. So there are loads of options already available in here to adjust the things, which is, for example, here the tracking speed. The higher I make it, the, the faster the mouse will go. So in the middle you see it's already just a slight movement with the mouse but it, it goes all over the place. So make sure that this goes down. Then you have other things like the mouse wheel works as well. It's just the opposite functionality as you are used to it from, from Windows PC for example. And that's about it. And what you will see that this menu will be here all the time. I was a bit annoyed that it's available all the time. So as soon as you start using your mouse, you can just switch this off. It will be gone because with the right mouse button, you will, can bring it up any place you want to be. So now, for example, right button and press on home and we go back to the home screen. And you see already here on the left side, we have the widgets now integrated into the start, start screen. And that's something I was waiting for for a long time because, because I always said, if I have widgets reminding me of something or, the, or I want to make a status update, I don't want to swipe over all the time. So that's perfect now. And now we can just go in Word, for example, everything using the mouse. And well, that's the old thing. And you see that this works perfectly. I can start to write with my bridge and write something else and write something else, write something else. And now we can really precisely and position the cursor 
in between words, we can select words by double tapping. And that's about it. Believe me, as soon as you start using the mouse, and if you're a heavy mouse user as I am on a Windows PC, I really think that's a game changer for me. It is still ex an accessibility feature, so it's nothing that Apple implemented like a proper mouse. However, they made the functionality very nice and it's only the beta now. I'm sure it will work perfectly as soon as they release it. So for the bridge keyboard, we have more things here for the function keys. There are not as many function keys, but you have backlit that you can change in different. However, it is not very bright, so you can't see it with other lights on. And then you can change the screen brightness. Then we have the other function keys we all know already, which is the volume up, volume down, battery status, and we can here for the home screen, we can lock the screen. So when we talk about the bridge keyboard, it really feels like it is really the best keyboard I used from all the other iPad keyboard cases I tested before. Other keyboard cases like the Logitech Slim Folio or the original Apple keyboard isn't as good as the keyboard we have here on the bridge. Is it as good as the butterfly keyboard? I'm, I can't compare it really. It has a much uh, further movement you have to do with the keys, uh, which I actually like because uh, on my Windows PC, for example, I'm using a mechanical keyboard. I really like this feel of the keys. I know other people don't like this, so it's a real subjective thing. However, it feels the most like having a real laptop in front of you now. And as I said, especially when using the mouse in combination, it is really like you would sit on a laptop. Will this be enough to replace a MacBook Pro or any other Windows laptop or something like this? I mean, the apps are getting really good now, especially with the new OS where you have the new Safari browser that actually replicates all the functionalities of a desktop browser now, it becomes really much more usable, especially if you have any apps that rely on web apps, for example. It will just work as a normal laptop PC now on the Safari, and I think that's a good start now. And being on my website, I also have here reviews where you can just check out uh, most of the cases I reviewed so far. And what you can do actually is just tap on them and with the new Safari, it's a real breeze because it really feels like we are here on a desktop. And if you tested it as well and you think you have a different opinion, you are able now to make your own review on this. And there are also the video reviews available for each case as well. So this is the same as you know for the note-taking apps because if you know me for the note-taking apps, I had exactly the same and that's it. So you see that it feels really natural for me to use the mouse to navigate on the laptop and it really looks very nice. So I was surprised, actually people have been laughing about this. Oh, it is so heavy now, why should you ever use this? But, uh, and I thought in the beginning as well, why should I actually use this? But I have to say, it is a very nice extension of my iPad Pro. And as you have seen in my other video about the iPad mini, and as I leave the iPad Pro now on my place and walk around with my iPad mini, go back to my iPad Pro and just keep writing on there. As you know, with the iOS, you can just carry on what you started on here. You can carry on on your iPad. So that's really working together now very well. As you know, I'm, I'm a fan of the Sugu case as well. And especially with the Apple Pencil, you have the same problem as you had before that the Apple Pencil has no place to be here. What you could do actually, if you take this away or you leave it on there and you take a, a sticky Apple Pencil holder like this and put it on your iPad Pro, you could carry around the Apple Pencil like this. So it will be much more secure and it won't be in your way. So as soon as you open it, it will stay in the back. Of course, it's not charging like this. However, it is a good solution I think you could do there. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends if they didn't know about the paperless movement already. If you haven't already, subscribe to this channel, ring the bell to be notified when the next video will be come out. So there are exciting times lying in front of us.